from time and time again, I've always heard that the United States of America is somehow the freest country on earth. And I've heard that the Western nations are the freest on earth as well. But the definition of freedom actually depends on the situation. So how can you actually say that? If you look in the dictionary itself, it specifically states that freedom is the unrestricted boundary. But the question is, how unrestricted is the boundary of freedom? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Now, I don't really understand how, you know, you could say, for example, the U.S. is the freest country. Sure, albeit there are some things in the United States that you can do that you can't do in other countries. Gay marriage is legal in the U.S. You're allowed to uh, leave your religion without any uh, persecution or being ostracized from your community. Maybe in some parts that may be the case. You, you're allowed, there's freedom of religion, there is uh, freedom of speech, and you could do other things such as, um, you know, uh, move from one house to the next, you're allowed to legally drop out of, high, of school when you're 16 years old. Uh, there are a lot of things you could do in the, in the United States, you're allowed to travel to pretty much any other country that you want with your American passport. So you're free and you're allowed to do that, no question about it. However in, the US, however, in the U.S., there's something you have to understand. You you have to uh, give your Social Security card. You have to have, give your Social Security number when you're either applying for uh, anything else, whether it's a job or or uh, what's it called, Re renewing your passport. You have to put in all your personal information when you're applying for a job. You have to have a credit score, and if you don't have a, a certain number that meets the criteria, you can't buy the car that you want, you can't buy the house that you want, and you can't even apply for a, a card, a membership card for Kohl's or even a place like Macy's. And it just, it's all based on that credit score. You can't even have a, a cell phone plan that you want with any phone company if you don't have that credit score that has met their criteria. And and also, uh, when you have credit, you always have to pay off your bills after you use it once to make sure that you maintain a good credit score. Otherwise, if you don't do that and that keeps piling up, you'll fall into debt. And then you have to pay all that debt off. So, do you see, just within that circle, how much freedom you already have? Do you see how limited you are when it comes to the freedom that you have in the United States? I think that makes sense now. I'm not saying that other countries have more freedom in the United States. Far from it. Like I said, it only depends on the situation. In, in other countries like Africa, for example, and even the Middle East, a man is allowed to have more than one wife because polygyny is legal in those, con in, in those countries over there. Even so, in certain countries in Africa. But in the United States, the Philippines, or many other countries in Asia, and even let's and let's add all the Western uh, uh, nations around the world. Polygamy is completely illegal. You do that, you're going to be under arrest, or you, or, or better yet, you'll be charged with bigamy as the crime. But when we're talking about other countries, you're allowed to do that over there. In certain countries, like poor countries, you're allowed to litter and throw your garbage out there in the middle of the street. You know, to see all the goats eating it up, and the police officers aren't even going to do a damn thing over there. But in the United States, if you litter here, you'll be charged a $1,000 fine, according to some states. And some signs even say that. No littering, a $1,000 fine. So with that being said, I think it's safe to assume that the, the definition of freedom only depends on the situation. Because the dictionary itself says the unrestricted boundary. And... And even if we lived in a world where laws didn't even exist, you would still have to submit anyway. You will be subdued according to the laws of biology. And, and I don't like it when people say that we have absolute freedom. If we had absolute freedom, every single person in this country or the Western nations, every single individual would, would be omnipotent and, and they'd be omniscient. 
absolute freedom that only applies to God. So how is it that you can say in this country you have absolute freedom? You have the freedom of religion. You have the freedom of speech. Um, what's it called? Premarital sex is not frowned upon. Uh, gay marriage is not frowned upon. I mean, this is not like the 1960s in recent history where they would not even tolerate that kind of thing. You're allowed to do all these things, actually. That That's fine. And, and that's just the bottom line. But all these other things that you're limited to, like, you're, where's the freedom in that? Like, especially with credit scores. And that's just the truth. And especially if you don't pay your taxes, if you don't do that, if you evade, if, if, if you, you'll be charged with tax evasion. I mean, like Wesley Snipes, who was already making a lot of money doing these movies. But look what happened to him. He spent his time in jail for uh, the, a tax evasion. I think that's a problem in itself right there. So with that being said, the next time someone tells you that you have absolute freedom here, you have to question that yourself. Because the way I see it, where's absolute freedom when you have all these other laws that you have to follow through, that you have to abide by? I mean, you'll even get a ticket if you pass the stop sign. Once the police stops you, that's it. You're done. He will give you a ticket, a parking, uh, 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 what's it called? Uh, he'll give you a citation that you have to pay off, which I don't know how much it costs, but you have to pay it off. If you don't, then it'll start piling up more and more, and then you'll get your license suspended. So what's really the point? So you see, you know, the United States does have freedom. I'm not going to deny that. But as far as their laws, they are very regimented, without a shadow of a doubt. So, I don't like when people say like, you know, yeah, we have more free. We are the freest country on earth. Who told you that? There's no such thing as the freest country on earth. If there was, huh, every single person around the world would move to this country. And their country, their pop, and every nation around the world, their population that of those countries would be down to zero. That means the, the entire continent of uh, all the other continents like Asia, Africa, regions like the Middle East, their populations would be down to zero if this country had absolute freedom. And only God has absolute freedom. He could do whatever he wishes. We would be walking gods among uh, amongst the masses. Clearly that's not the case. Oh, and let's not forget something. You have to go through so much just to become a citizen in the United States. You go through so much. Unbelievable. But I'm not hating on the United States. I love this country. Just there's just some things you have to question. You can't just believe that we're the freest country on earth. It's not the case at all. But this is also a sense this is also uh, ethnocentrism coming into play here. Now I hope I got your gears spinning in your heads. Alright. That's it for this video. Take care.